Well, after a big old hiatus, here we are back again for another Crokinole Conversations match. And we have in the house none other than Hutch Daddy, Andrew Hutchinson. How's it going? Good, man. Welcome to the Tracy Boards Recording Studio. Thank you, sir. Thank you for joining us. So, whenever we do these, we always, what we do is we play a match and we just shoot the breeze, talk about whatever. Obviously, a fair bit about Crokinole, life, this, that, and the other thing, let people get to know you. But we have a couple of very specific things that we need to make sure we talk about uh, off the hop, and then we'll get into playing some and chatting. But is there a pretty cool event coming up in what I thought was two months, but apparently is one month? Yes, one month away. Should I look at the camera? I don't care. All man. right. So <laughs> one month away is the NCA Players uh, Championship. So it's on June 4th and at New Hamburg. And it's the, uh, at least in Ontario, the first kind of big Crokinole tournament in basically two and a half years, which is pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. There's, I think, up to 50 doubles teams available and 100 singles competitors. So it's going to be uh, quite the event. Apparently $1,000 is on the line for the uh, uh, singles. So Competitive singles, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. So, uh we tried to multitask, being busy guys that we are, so when Andrew came over tonight, he came over and we met earlier, we did a Zoom meeting with uh, two of the other committee members who were helping to organize this tournament, and we made a pretty cool decision. So, do you want to say, or you want me to, what's, what's, who's I, going here? I think you should. You think I should yeah, do it? For sure. So, the decision that was made is that in order to incentivize and have even more people sign up, like, I don't really understand why just an incredible day of Crokinole doesn't have people lined up all the way to... Toronto, but um, we are in the NCA is stepping up with an incentive to promote this tournament. So any registrations that come in, so if you're already registered, don't worry, you're not missing out. Any registrations that are already in, as well as come in on or before midnight, May twentieth. So you got a little bit of time, but don't sit on it too long. If you get your registration in by midnight, your name is going to go into a draw. One lucky winner is going to win a black Tracy tour board. Absolutely free. Obviously, you're going to be there anyway, so you'll be able to pick it up in person. If you ask real nice, I might even sign it. Um, but yeah, that's something the, the NCA, one of their missions is to help promote Crokinole, build the community. So they are stepping up very generously, uh, donating this board to incentivize even more people to come joy, enjoy an amazing day playing the greatest game on earth. And I mean, as an added bonus, you're going to get to meet people like uh, Hutch Daddy Hutchinson over here. Peace. You going to wear your pink shirt? Yeah, this I mean, is this is not my my real pink shirt. Not the I real. I will wear the pink shirt. There is a pink shirt yes. that's been your that's been your best friend and companion. Yeah. So uh, yeah, all right. Let's uh, let's get into playing. You've been warming up, practicing for sure. While I've been setting up cameras, because yeah. without Mackenzie here to do it for me, I'm kind of like a lost puppy over there. So I'll go first. All right. And we don't really keep score to it well. Depending, I keep score if I'm winning. Sure. But, uh, yeah, so what is it about the fourth that you're looking forward to? Um, well, just the uh, the chance to play competitive Crokinole for the first time in a long time. Uh, the uh, Just chatting with people that I haven't seen for in a long time. Uh, but, yeah, mostly the, the competition and uh, having that, that chance Ooh. to... Uh, to play against some of the best and try to win some money and uh, yeah that, that's for me. How about yourself? Well this past weekend I got to scratch that itch just slightly with the the mild May tournament but it was uh, it was a lot smaller. There was uh, 28 people there playing but uh, and there were some strong players like myself and Ron Langell, Peter Carter, Roger Valancourt and Robert Bonnet were there. Uh, and it was just awesome to play competitive Crokinole and just exactly what you said, seeing those people. Like, for so long, I mean, back when things were normal, whatever you want to say, um, like once a month, uh, usually, there was some sort of a Crokinole tournament. So there was a core group of us, 30, 40, 50 people, that, you know, that become good friends that you just got to go hang out with for the day and play your favorite game. Um... Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that, and you know, we've been playing a bit here, but I, don't, I almost feel like my, my skill set slipped a little bit, just because you don't have that pressure, you can miss it, it doesn't really matter, but even just playing on, uh, playing back in St. Jacob's Club that's restarted up, and um, then playing in Mild May, it was just, put that positive pressure back on, so. 
Uh, oh, I, I still got a button. Game. Wow, I'm new to this game. <laughs> you, th you think I can keep track of them <laughs> with my uh, with my moon clip over here? But you kind of got my back to the wall here, Hutch. All right. Yeah, I definitely relate to the uh, the difference between uh, just playing, but uh, playing. Practicing against yourself or, or with uh, somebody at home and and playing at a tournament, it's a mm. totally different, uh, totally different feel. And uh, so I'm I'm looking forward to the some of the, the nervous the nerves that go along with the tournament and uh, all of that that mm -hmm. stuff. All of the well should be fun and uh, good to get back in that type of uh, environment for mm -hmm. sure. I'm feeling pretty nervous because right now I'm getting my butt whooped on my own YouTube channel. And I mean, we're putting out really good promotional content here about that tournament, so it'd be a shame if you continue to beat me and I can't <laughs> even post this, right? Like, that's what's got me nervous. Well, if I miss a shot, you'll, I, you'll know why. I, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's already footage on YouTube of you whooping me in Turtle Island, so. Nice shot. Thank you. So your dial here, fella. I have a question for you. Okay. Who have you not seen like in a two and a half years or so that you're most looking forward to seeing again? Well, uh, you if you weren't hanging out with me right now. Um, who have I? Unfortunately, he's not going to be there. I would absolutely love to see Conrad. Yeah. Um, that would be, uh, I always enjoy talking to him. We were talking about him earlier, um, Dwayne Campbell, yeah. Dwayne and Christina. I always, I always enjoy chatting with them. They're super people, like most corporal people, and just really fun, positive people that I like to, like to, uh, see and hang out with. How about yourself? Um, I have not seen your, your friend, Roy Campbell, and my friend. Um, yeah, I'm... You did touch. I did touch. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm really looking forward to seeing him uh, again. Oh, um, so dirty! All of his little uh, sayings, like "Is the horseshoe hurt?" or mm. oh, "Yeah." Good I, thing that hole was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I miss all of that. So that will be. Uh, that'll be good. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah, buddy. I thought I was in a better situation. Yep, let your guard down, didn't you? Yeah. All right. That's from two and a half years of not playing competitive pro <laughs> Apparently, That's what caused that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I just heard, speaking of other tournaments and, and people that, well, only, I guess I've met him twice. Did you remember um, Tom Collins? Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's coming over here this summer. Oh, cool. He wanted to, uh, he wanted to land here when the Turtle Island tournament was happening. So yeah. he messaged me after he booked his flights, and I had to be the bearer of bad news and go, oh. Oh, so no. yeah. uh, that's when he's going to be here, around that first week in August. So I said, like, if nothing else, we might that might be an excuse to organize another tournament, or if nothing else, even just a get, get together. together yeah. Because nice I, yeah, thank you. I hung out with him in uh, in Hungary, and uh, super guy. From the Channel Islands, where my uh, my ancestors are, are from. That's or where he lives. Mine. Yeah. Yeah, Guernsey Island or yeah. something. Yeah. So, one of my relatives back in the day lived there. That's not what you're supposed to do, Hutch. That's not what I was supposed to do, Hutch. Huh? People aren't. Uh, not right, cooperating, right? <laughs> I'm quite used to you not cooperating with what I want to have happen on the board. Okay. Hmm. I kind of dug myself now just a, a titch of a hole here. You're up a 20. Yeah, I know. Oh, now I'm not. Oh, make a shot. Ah, uh, can I get the double here? I think you need a triple. 
It might be there, actually. As the conversation comes to a grinding halt for just... <laughs> Glad this is on camera, because if I make this shot, it's going to be pretty cool. I got a double, a Holstein double. Yeah, I just uh, dug a hole there. I quite enjoy messing around, not getting the takeout, and jamming things up in the middle with my opponent's buttons, and sometimes it works out, <laughs> and sometimes it does that, so. Yeah. yeah. I always have fun with it, but. So what have you done to stay sharp? Because uh, you have. Um. Have you started practicing so like since we since we booked this tournament? Oh, I've I've kind of been slacking uh, since we uh, announced the tournament. Um, I I practiced a couple times. I unlike most people, I talked to the first year and a half of the pandemic. Mm. I was pra like I was practicing a lot. Okay. And try like trying new new shots out okay. and just experimenting because it's like that's a great time to to, yeah. to try try new stuff, right? And mm -hmm. so um, yeah, for a while I was like I'm gonna beat everybody, and then I think last September after that I just kind of started slacking off, yep. so I didn't play for like six months or so. So I need yeah with the month uh, the uh, tournament a month away or so mm. I need to get on it. Well, you're welcome here anytime to. Sharpen the iron. One although, thing. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go dodge. Ahead. Say, although I'm not really uh, doing much to help you sharpen up right now. One thing I am excited about about the uh, tournament is uh, it's it's in many ways that the format is similar to the world. Yep. But there's uh, a couple um, a couple changes that I think will be fun. So one. In the worlds, the uh, the singles is uh, the top sixteen advance, and then there's two groups of eight. Yep. Uh, for this tournament, it's going to be the top twenty four advance. Yeah. There'll be uh, four groups of six, and then from those four groups, the top two will advance okay, to yeah. quarterfinals, semis, and, and yep. finals. So adding a quarterfinal level that'll be pretty fun. Mm -hmm. And then for the doubles, um, there'll be uh, instead of just the top six double teams, the top 16 double teams will make it. Yep. And there'll be four groups of four, and then the, the mm. winner for each group will go into the semis and finals. Yeah. Yep. So I think uh, a little bit of variety in the uh, format should, uh, should make it interesting. Oh. It's a good thing we're not keeping four, or else we'd know that you just beat me 6-2. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> And yeah, I don't know, I know you watch every Tracy Boards video that ever goes out. For sure. So you're probably aware of this, but what we do is we have our corporate Subscribe, conversation. Subscribe, put on the notifications. Right. Yeah. Click that bell. <laughs> um, you're hired. Uh, how are you with technology? But uh, after we have our corporate conversation, then I reset the camera and we actually do a race to nine. And that's that, I'm just lulling you into a false sense of security. So all right, all right. You won that match 6-2, so you go first. Okay. Son of a moose. All right. You want to play over there, huh? Nah. Weird. How about that? You want to play there? <laughs> See if I can bring it back a little. Or yeah, you did. <laughs> into the ditch. Oh, son of a moose. I was considering, I was asking myself if I should be doing a Conrad. Mm, can't take advantage. Oh, nice shot. The way you uh, drew it up, eh? Mm -hmm, exactly how I drew it up. So what, uh, what Crokinole preparation have you been doing recently? Well, I drove to Boston and spent four days 
<laughs> teaching people how to play Croconole. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, know if you want to talk about that now. Or are you going to do a separate video for that? Or oh, we can your... chatter about it now. Awesome. Um, yeah, that was incredible. That actually wasn't it wasn't really helping me prepare. Um, but the tournament in Mild Mate was really good. All right, choose it. That, yeah. Um, and yeah, the, with the St. Jacobs Club starting back up, so they're every Wednesday night. Yeah. Um, that's been good doing the St. Jacobs style round robin. There's, we've got a video about that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up our St. Jacobs round robin video. Um, but I did. I love that. Like I felt like I mean the Brits and Ron Langell have come over and played some matches. We put up some video of that, and that was good. But I don't know. I just didn't. I didn't feel the same pressure or the same excitement about it. But as soon as we get back into that St. Jacobs style, like that first night back at St. Jacobs, I could just. By the time we get into the second game, I could just feel it, and I'm like, I mean, because that, and I mean, the last time we played there at St. Jacob's, what, how many points ahead of you was I at the end of the season? I, I think it was 11 or 13. I think it was 8, wasn't it, was it only 13? It wasn't more than 13. Okay, all right. Because I knew I had, like, you had a, one. a small chance, like, if, if you had an off night and I had a really good night, I had a chance to, uh... You had a chance to dethrone yeah. me. But no, I just, I love that format and having a different doubles partner every time. Like that has done more to get me back in the mode. And um, early in the pandemic, like Reed and I would still play a bit, but then the longer things wore on without a tournament to train for, we just yeah. slowly fell out of the habit. And yeah, that and with, with Reed and Nolan both being in the shop all day, they're looking at boards all day and then for, come home and go, Hey, do you want to play croconole with your dad? And they're like, yeah, bug off, dad. Um, I had enough of you at work today kind of thing, so. But yeah, I'm, uh, they, this past Saturday, playing Bonnet in the finals, I mean, the man is deadly at 20s. And, uh, yeah, after you lose a few, when I say lose a few 20 races, when you're the first one to miss a few times, you're like, all right, I need to sit down and practice my 20s. So I don't do things like that. Um, so yeah, just knowing there's a tournament coming is yeah. it's a great incentive to uh, yeah. get back down. Efficient. You know, I wanted to do a Conrad just to block you from a, a perfect round, but that would have been rude. Well done. Perfect round for the Hutch Daddy. I think that round was yours. Yeah, I'll take that one. Um, yeah, I don't even... I get distracted by the match here. Oh! Oh, who can't capitalize now? Wow, is that ugly? Let's have some good strategy here. Hmm. Wow. Great shot. Now you need to miss to make it worth it. Not a Conrad miss either. That's a great Conrad. Mm -hmm. I think people don't understand, like, doing a good Conrad is not easy. No, it's not. It's like, it's really easy to either do it too short or too long or put in a plate, like, set them up. Oh. Like, it's hard to do a good Conrad. Yeah. And that is a good Conrad. I, I, I like it. Because, yeah, I mean, you can end up too close to the post and then you're setting them up for a... Uh, it's not easy, but, I mean, certainly there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ah. I would say the best Conrad's that like you might get the off or you might get the 20, but there's no way you're getting both. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not liking how this round is shaking up. Alright, I can work with that. Can yeah, it wasn't quite what I meant to do. wasn't what I meant to do either. Yeah, 
Gotta make you do it again, aren't you? That's also a good or a good Conrad. One of the things that's forced me to get good at the Conrads is uh, Simon Dower comes over. Oh man, when he gets on the groove for his yeah. 20s, it's like, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've actually never met Simon, uh, but looking forward to playing with him. Mm -hmm. From the videos I've seen, like he is a very good player. Oh, and hilarious. Well, he's British, so he must well, be funny, right? Yeah, he has to be. I, Let's say they kick him out of the country, but they did that anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, but him and Boot get ripping on each other with these expressions. I don't know what they mean, but man, they're funny. Yeah, and just yeah, just a super guy. I uh, he's a lot of fun to hang out with. And yeah, he uh, when he does this friggin' spot. Yeah, yeah anyway, we make fun of it, but well, it's, it's effective. But only because it's so it's so yeah. effective. I've practiced it. It's it's not for me. Yeah, I'm not built for it. If you need another incentive to uh, come to the tournament, Simon and what's what's it? Mark Boot. Mark Boot. Mark yep. Boot. He's gotten a lot better. He's uh, coming to St. Jacobs and and yeah, really playing well. Oh, good try. Nice. Thank you. Somebody just emailed me today asking if you could damage the rail by dropping 20s in the 20 holder. I'm like, I've seen people like slam dunk them because they're excited about their shot or because they sank one for their opponent. Yeah. And I still hadn't seen them do damage. I said, now I'm not encouraging you to slam dunk your discs. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, I think it would take a lot more than a disc to yeah. do damage. So do you envision, I mean, I, maybe you don't want to give give any anything up, but are you do you envision pulling out the Conrad quite a bit in the upcoming tournament, or um, just practicing it? Right I don't now? know. I, you know, even when I, like, when I used to practice it all the time, and I'd still find myself when I got in a tournament, I wouldn't use it, because, like, you know, when you play in a tournament, every board is a different speed. Yeah. So it's it's almost more intimidating to go for a Conrad than an open 20. Yeah, you're like used you to, to yeah. You know, open 20 weight, but the Conrad, if you haven't done it, that, yeah. Hats off to him for being able to do it so well for so long on so many different boards, right? You, you get... <laughs> nice shot. Well, now you can do another Conrad. Nice. I wonder, I'm going to try a bounce back. Well, kick bounce back. No. So I need a double and a 20 for the tie. Alright, I think, I think you took that one 6 2, didn't you? Oh, cool. Look at me go. But who's counting? But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't care. I, if that was my plan, I would give it away because you can know somebody. I know. I sit down across from John Conrad. I know if he gets up, he's going to do a Conrad. There's yeah. nothing I can do about it. Yeah. It's just like, oh, don't let him get up in twenties. Well, that's always the plan. Yeah, yeah. You, I don't want to let you get up on twenties because once you do, you just won't miss. I can sit there and that's, hit it. That's yeah. the plan. Yes. But, yeah, um, the one big thing I've learned about the Conrad is that you just need to make a decision. Am yeah. I going for a 20 or am I going for a Conrad? Yeah. If you're still mentally on the fence, yeah. no matter what you try to do, it goes for crap. Yeah. So. I've had times, like, I'm in a match, and it's like, my open 20s aren't working, so maybe I should go for the Conrad, but it's like, if I don't get my open twenty dial back in, yeah. I'm screwed anyway. Yeah. So yeah, that can't be the your reason to go to a Conrad. I don't think it's nice shot. Thank you. See, even that one wasn't terrible because it met the criteria of you're not getting the, the off and yeah, the can. Yeah. Oops. Right, let's pull this back. Not really. Mm. 
Mm. See, it's exactly what I mean. Like playing against you, there's so much more pressure. I leave you anything, and you're gonna you're gonna have an in. Whereas, like, you yeah. Oh, like that, you're gonna make me pay for. Well, like that we'll was see. a gimme. There's no. There, I mean, I can't believe you haven't said thank you yet. <laughs> Oh, boom! Slam dunk that 20. Now I can't do a Conrad. Well, I can, but it'd be kind of dumb. Oh. How come when yours sat back up, then it fell in and mine <laughs> didn't? Just don't lie. Mm -hmm. Two zip? Yeah. But yeah, one of the things you know, I mean, probably looking forward to the tournament. People need people, and I'm just so, yeah, just the community, and even like Nathan talking tonight, Nathan Walsh talking tonight about his parents are going to be there to help out. His parents are friggin' sweethearts. Yeah. I love talking to them, right? And I mean, They're better than my parents, that's for sure. Well, I don't know your parents. But, I mean, just based on how their offspring have turned out, I would have to agree. Um, wow. That was, no, I'm, I'm kidding. That, uh, I don't think my mom watches this, uh, this channel. Oh, yeah? I, you can say what you want. Yeah. Wow. I'm glad my mom didn't see that. This is a case where I will not ask you who has hammer. I will do the math myself. So it's a case when we're playing against each other. That's what I hear you saying. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I see what you're playing at there, and I don't like it. Trying to jam that up in between. It's gonna go for the hide. Can't hide from the hooch. Not like that, I can't. Let's talk some criminal strategy. So sure. there's some players yep. who get in this situation. Yep. Especially maybe not the last shot, but earlier in the round, mm -hmm. they'll just peel. Yeah, they, they don't they don't want to miss and then leave a piece on and then a, give an open twenty. Can I speak freely? Sure. That's a complete lack of confidence. Mm. That's I, saying if you hide from me, I'm probably going to hit a peg. And Somebody I'm, does that, I'm like, cool. Yeah, yeah I, I like when they do it because it gives yeah. me a chance to even it up on twenties. Yeah. But yeah, I, to me, like if I can see the disc. I'm going for it. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like uh, a situation where you just need a top like or like a tie or whatever. Mm. Like yeah. strategically there might be times yeah. where you can peel, but to me, uh, like I've had rounds when someone repeatedly tries to hide on me and they spend and they just hide and I hit it and they hide and yeah. I hit it and they hide and I hit it and that like it's massive confidence boost it, yeah. to me. Every, every time and you it, hit it, your confidence goes yeah. up. Yeah. And eventually they go, no point trying to hide from you. I may as well come in. Yeah. Or, yeah. Ah. I, I remember, I think it was at Snyderhaus playing against you. And you had a button hidden behind the peg. And you troughed your shot. And I'm like, that was silly. Because <laughs> I'm like, this guy doesn't think I, and we didn't know each other very well at the time. I'm like, this guy doesn't think I can hit that button. Yeah. And then I hit the peg. <laughs> and you trough again. I'm like, some bitch thinks I'm going to miss twice. <laughs> and I hit the peg. And I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe there's something to that strategy. But uh, yeah, I, I've never in my life taken offense to somebody troughing a shot. I, yeah, I'm just like, okay.
So it's you and uh, Connor Ryman. Yes, partnering Connor. Up Connor has made it official. Yep. We are we are partnering up. We partnered once before in I think 2018 nice. um, Ontario Doubles, and we lost to the Bearlings in the semifinals. Okay, lots of people have lost to the lost Bearlings, to the Bearlings before. in finals, semifinals. I think maybe you and I had a turn at <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, that's happened. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. He's he's in Indiana now. I'm not. Okay. He, he his home state is Michigan, so I'm not sure where he'll be uh, June, but uh, he'll yep. be coming from the states, and we hope to have a lot of other people from the states. So yep. if you're um, coming from the states or or watching this video from the states, um, consider coming. It's it's a great tournament. It's a great chance to kind of see. See where you uh, where stack you, up. Where you stack up, as yeah, I said, buddy. there's uh, there's like the top players. Almost all the top players are are registered, but there's there's also a lot of player uh, other level players. So yeah, yeah, definitely. If you're from the states, uh, make a trip. Is it just the states, or will we accept people from India and England Spain? and Sp Yeah, yeah, any Anywhere? anybody really. But cool. uh, the states is a bit closer. One of the things we talked about as a committee was trying to make sure that the day was going to be a lot of fun regardless of skill level. I'll take it. Who's hammer? <laughs> it's the eyes, his buttons. <laughs> yeah. You don't get to play that one again. <laughs> Yeah, another another incentive for uh, for those who are coming out of town is there's a Friday night social hosted by <sighs> Tracy Board. I guess people have been pointing over there. <laughs> Look at the sign. Yeah, Tracy Boards. Yeah, we decided to sponsor the Friday night for that. You know, just for anybody traveling in from out of town, or even if they're not, just to anything to hatch. Anything to try to make it more of a weekend, more of an experience, more of an event. We're going to do probably, you remember doing the whole Survivor Tournament down at, uh, in Voorheesville. Oh, probably I remember. That. Yeah, you won. Um, yeah. Cole's notes of a, of a whole Survivor Tournament. It's basically a, a 20 shooting tournament competition that's just a really cool structure and a lot of fun. Um, yeah, you know what's not fun? Being down 6 nothing. I'm going to go back to saying that I don't keep score. <laughs> um, yeah, and we're going to do some of the some of the challenges that I have up on the channel, like the inside out drill and things yeah. like that. We're going to have different tables and things set up for people to try their hand at those things. Nice. Thank you. And on the, uh, the Saturday, the... Uh the return of the Crokinole Depot skills competition. Yep. So for those who don't know, uh, Jason and Ray Bearling, they used to at the Worlds uh, host a uh, skills competition. Yep. And when the uh, the day got compressed, uh, that was uh, that they weren't able to do it anymore because thing the timing was too tight. But yep. they've uh, they've agreed to bring it back. So uh, that that's also going to be. Uh, a fun uh, part of the Saturday. They're good guys like that. I forget if I started this or not. <laughs> I got talking about uh, Crokinole. Crokinole, and yep. I forgot. So he has four in the ditch. I have four, and I'm shooting, so it's just him. <laughs> it was Saturday. I was playing against Roger, and at one point he was like, Whose hammer is it? And he asked me again. <laughs> I mean, it's a fun charity tournament. I think it was like the fourth time he asked. Fun. The, the, I think the fourth time he asked, he's like, it's my hammer, right? And I just, I, I laughed and nodded. I'm like, this is charity, but yeah. Uh, if you haven't heard me talk about this, I don't answer the question. I won't lie, but I don't answer the question. I feel that situational awareness is a skill. And yeah, that uh, it's a skill that you need to have to do well in Grobenol. So... 
And it's amazing how often, like... People lose track of it. Yeah. Hmm? Like, you would think it should be pretty simple. Eight buttons, it's yep. not that complicated, but... Or the other thing, typically in an NCA tournament, you're playing four rounds. So just remember who started. Yeah. And then, oh, I started the first, like, when this yeah. game started, I went first. Yeah. Because usually, like, in an NCA tournament, like, the side closest to the window starts or something like yeah. that. So, oh, I'm on this side. I started as the third round. I must have started yeah. this round. Like, there's ways. Yeah. yeah. Some people actually, I think, write it on their scorecard, like, yeah. all so that, uh, and then you see them refer to their scorecard uh, if they're unsure, which isn't a bad idea. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but there's these things called button trays, or some people would call them a moon clip, and you can use that, like say if you had hammer, you could you could make sure that you left your button to the left for last, and it's just oh, an yeah. easy way to keep track of it, but some guys are just old and set in their ways, and they won't use these new things. Old school, that's right. Old school. Kicking an old school with Hutch Daddy, huh? So if I can get a 20 here, that's really putting the pressure on. <laughs> if I can hit the disc, that'll yeah. improve my chances. Oh, I don't have to shoot. <laughs> but I will. Hey, hey, I was shooting for pride right there. <laughs> there we're like trading six twos. Yeah. Not like normal when we face in a tournament. We you usually four, tie. Four, yeah. Yeah. All right, so you start us off because you won that game. Hmm. Bad start. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did exactly what I wanted to with my button, but not yours. Should I try? The old hutch would do it. You did touch. <laughs> I did touch it. You did touch. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have tried that in the tournament. Yeah. I would have uh, taken my chances with more pieces on the board. Now, if this was Reed playing, he would <laughs> definitely yeah. knock out a double there. Yeah. You ain't no Reed. I'm no yeah. Reed, that's for sure. I'll, uh, I'll have fun with it, though. Good bid. Mm. Yeah. I feel like that's the little nuancey stuff of competitive croconol that people aren't realizing. Just the the game of millimeters over yeah. there where I'm trying to not give you an angle in. Yeah, if that was a millimeter or two more closer to me, it would be a perfect uh, spin off opportunity. Or stuff like that, you intentionally get the off because there's a better chance of me blowing through on an open 20 yeah, than uh, missing something right in front of me. Yeah. And then I'm dropping over here so that if I went long, I'm hitting that peg. Yeah. Just little and you learn those things because you lose two points in a tournament for exactly. doing something stupid. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of troughing, uh, there was a tournament, uh, I think Turtle Island, and I was playing, and I had hammer. Mm -hmm. uh, my opponent had a disc here, and I had a disc here. Yep. Last shot. I go to shoot his, hit this oh. peg, hit that, and I lost the two points. And it like it was a moral ki a mora morale killer. Like, yep. And I I somehow recovered and I squeaked into the A group for the afternoon. But yep. like, man. Yep. Not gonna make that mistake again. Yeah. If you don't need to shoot, you don't shoot. And yeah. Oh, I want to talk crap like that, I should probably follow through, huh? Nice shot. Thank you. There was somebody asking me a while ago about rust. 
of a player rust or whatever, and something was said about the beerlings, and I'm like, mm mm. If there's any rust, it's like two rounds, and they've got it knocked off. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, I, play, I went down and played against Ray. And were you here when Jason came? Uh, no, I wasn't there. Maybe it was Ron was here, because yeah. three of us played, and I mean, he was just yeah. hitting insane angles, and I'm like, yeah, Jason Beerling is not dealing with ring rust. Yeah, the only rust the Beerlings deal with is their beer color. <laughs> I feel like Ray's jokes are a little rusty, but... <laughs> well, that's a pretty good hide. I would have liked it a little more that way, but... Nice. Thanks. Nice, nice. I find with those, you just have to do your best to ignore that peg. Just right? focus on what your, your target is, right? But easier said than done sometimes. Oh, that's not. Oh, uh, not at all what I wanted to do. It was too late. Coming. It was too late in the round to be messing with it, but I did it anyway. This is disaster written all over, but I don't have any choice here. Yeah, you have to try. Wow. Well, at least you're. You make me shoot through the uh, the center, which is you can never just do a bump and run if you want. Never a guarantee. Nice. Some people really avoid that hole on that last shot, but I don't mind going oh, over, right over it. Yeah. That rather than a, a weird angle that you can catch a peg with, I don't. I don't mind just going over the hole on that. Yeah. But some people will avoid that, like the plague. Mm. Uh, third round, my start. Are we sitting at two two? I thought I won the first, but I could Did be you? I, I thought so, but I could be wrong. Commenters, comment and uh, tell us if I'm cheating. Yeah, I, I get called in for cheating often enough. Pick on somebody else. What do you mean you shoot from there? Do you like that? It's, I've been working on that shot. <laughs> Hogan's Alley, or Sparta as I call it. Do you know what the Brits call it? What's that? I'm guessing it's somewhat inappropriate, which I <laughs> applaud. <laughs> Boots bat. Was it play? Yeah, I, was, I said that when we were at Nathan's place. Yeah, I think so. like, yeah, yeah, we call it Boots Back Passage, and Nathan's like, let's just stick with Hogan's <laughs> Alley. All right, suit yourself. <laughs> it's part of my game strategy to get you giggling, but I feel like I do more to myself than to you, so. Oh, well, I'm having fun. Shoots. Ah, you have an angle there. This is the third round that I started. Not what I wanted. Clearly. Making me pay. Well done. Thanks. Oh, okay, bounce back enough. Good bid. Yeah. 
Six zip again. I'm gonna throw you out soon. Or four two, depending on what the first round was. You're probably right. <clears throat> we'll say you were right. All right, my blast. Do that. Um, I think I need to leave it there. Yeah, my follow throughs are no good. Not not that, but if I left it right there, you'd have. Uh... Mm. Okay. Good practice. Yep. Oh, it is stinky in here. Too little, too late. Whoop! You don't need to shoot. You're so arrogant, you're going to shoot anyway. I'm pretty sure Dang. that was a skunk and we think. I thought it was yeah. 6 too. But yeah, I think it was a skunk. So, uh, if it was a skunk, click thumbs up. If it was 6 two, click thumbs down. So YouTube you doesn't count dislikes anymore, oh, yeah. so uh, yeah, but it's your blast regardless, because either way you won that game. Well, that was a bad start. Depends on your perspective. I feel like this board is a little bit slow. It needs a waxing. Do you have any videos of how to wax, wax boards? I think I have three actually. Oh, okay. Description is or a link is in the description below. Yeah, it could be. Um, I have one that's a super fast, like two minute how to wax. And another one I go into more details. I guess the third one is how often should I wax? Right. That's the one where I crash two beer into each other. Oh, let's try an offside. Oh. Let's, let's try an offside on that. If I was read, I would knock it off this peg, this peg, and in. I think that's the Eric Milton bait. Can we just uh, flick and pray? That's a nice shot. I like those shots. I started playing, I, I always play very offensively, very aggressively and because it's in my nature but now I'm learning to play a little bit more defensively and one of the things that helps me is I try to be aggressively defensive like yeah. that shot it's yeah. like it's a yeah I gotta go for this yeah I'm it's not it's not really a, cool it's not passive in any way it's not just hitting and sticking it's uh, yeah it's with uh, I say a goal in mind yeah I don't have much I really don't I feel for you just, just that was fairly passive. Well, right sometimes it's smart to be passive. Well, you have to shoot. I do. And all I need to do is touch. Nice. Do nothing. Yeah. Ain't scouting me this time. Baba. So are you sharing with the world about uh, going to the US Open or? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so late in the video that only only, only, the... only, only fans are going to be watching <laughs> by now. Um, yeah, so what is that, May 21st? You you dumped me. Yeah, I, uh, uh, yeah. I can't make it this year. No Canadian cue balls were not, 
reunite. Unless so, Ron uh, shaves his head. Yeah, I don't see that. So for now, the, we're going down labeled as Team Ron Jeremy. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, Ron Langell stepped up, and uh, he's been playing really well. I'm a super guy. Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to it. Um, he's not a big beer guy, but neither are you. And not really. Not, not as I, I would drink a lot more than him, but yeah, not, not, but not as much to, as you. Like, compared to me and the beerlings and no. uh, some of the extra fight yeah. guys, probably not so much. Yeah, but. I didn't. I didn't start at ten a.m. like or nine a.m. like some people. I didn't. Eat. I I think that. <laughs> I think we were pre like the Canadians were pretty restrained. Like yes. we wanted to. We wanted yes. to perform well. I think. I think you and I were both the same. We had like our first beer. Uh, My, like, mine was, I had one mid-afternoon. Okay, yeah. I'm not even sure I did that. I feel like um, that uh, it was like while we were waiting to start the finals. Yeah. Oh! What the hell was that? <laughs> Where's your sportsmanship? <laughs> Great shot. <laughs> There's my sportsmanship. It's all you're getting. That was a great shot. Counts as much as that. Ah, it's 20. Nice. Thank you. That will be nice for you to see uh, Jason and uh, the gang again, eh? Well, I got to visit with Jason uh, last week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I uh, on my way to Boston, I stopped there, and him and I spent a day disc golfing. Nice. Which was awesome and exhausting, which is exactly what you should do before you go do a long, exhausting four-day convention. Just exhaust yourself playing disc golf. And yeah. Then, um, yeah, if I had to do over again, I'd do it again. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to squeeze in a little bit of disc golf when I'm down there for the U.S. Open, but... That was a quick 4 nothing. So yeah, I'm absolutely... The only, the only one other than Jason I got to see that time going through was Magic Mike. Oh, nice. Met us at Indian Ladder Farms. Oh, nice. For, uh, we played a couple of games. And then, yeah, he actually went and played uh, around the disc golf with us. Oh, Mag cool. Magic did. Yeah. That was on the first night I was there. Nice. Thank you. Oh, I'm just leaving everything short. Wasn't what I was planning, but I'll take it. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. I'm going to have to block an alley. No. There you go. <laughs> Woo. You're welcome. Well, ain't that a bitch. <laughs> oh no, it's ain't that a prick, isn't it? <laughs> Who was it used to say that? The uh, old guy? Ab, a ab leech. A a is it ab or a? Uh, ab, yeah. yeah. All right, now we're color coordinated over here. Nice. Can't wait till we flip this over to our race to nine, and I actually start trying. Mm -hmm. So. Nice. Nice. So, uh, five, five one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Something I tried to work on is my uh, my rollaways, and yeah, that was a absolutely pathetic rollaway. <laughs>
Yeah, they're not easy. Yeah, because next thing you roll away all the way to the gutter. And yeah, exactly. Nice. Uh, roll away for another shot you have to mentally like totally Commit be to. committed to. Yeah. If you're kind of in between, then it's not going to work well. Been on the wrong end of those when I played against Brian Cook and Hungary. <laughs> yeah. Now this is a situation I think Ray does this a lot where he'll, I would, it's a kind of like a defensive follow through. Uh, oh, you're just trying to follow through. You're follow through, to, yeah. 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 And if it goes in, that's great, but yeah, yep. he'll try to kind of leave it there as opposed to yep. leaving a setup. So I'm going to try that. Ah, get away. That's why I love Friendly Crokinole, because right now that's funny. On June 4th, yeah. in a pivotal match, that's not going to be funny. No. Not to me. Oh, that's nice, because I have to... I think I need to half-hole it. Again, half-holing you need to do with conviction. Nice shot. Thanks. Although... It's a little bit no-man's land. Yeah, is it? A little bit. Nice. It's hard to get the off. Mm, yeah, the, I wasn't uh, playing the off the at all. Thing. Now I'm going to try to move that and get the 20. Nice. Thanks. Ah! This is what we call the Hutch 20. Oh, yeah. Some people go for the Touch 20. I go for the Hutch, hutch 20. 20. Oh, except for you got a 20. Oh, is that the only difference? <laughs> Nice shot. That's what we call a lap dog. <laughs> nice. Five three. Five three, yeah, because we tried that last one, yeah. How are you for time? Do we need to be what, what time is it? It is ten to nine. Well, it depends on how long you want the, the video to be. I don't know if you're. I haven't stuff put out. out any content to my YouTube channel in ages. I'm happy to just. I might split this up into smaller videos just so I get content. To, I am gonna get back to it. I just. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I need to. I need to replace Mackenzie. There's just been a lot of. For sure. Um, yeah. A lot of. A lot of shifting going on. Like I was telling you before we turn on the video, Nolan's going to go off and try his hand at something different. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a lot of transitioning happening here, but, uh, yeah, I won that game. So, what, you want to do one more uh, sure. Crokinole conversation, and then we'll stop it, restart it, do a race tonight? Yeah, for cool. sure. Cool. All right, man. Is there any uh, other important information about the tournament or discussion with the tournament? No, right, we talked about the Friday Night Social. Yeah. We talked about get your name in the, get registered by May 20th in order to get your name in the draw to win a Tracy board courtesy of the NCA. Very awesome and generous thing for them to do to help uh, promote this tournament. Um, we talked about how you're going to be there. I mean, yeah. And what did you say that there's only one of the top 12 ranked NCA players that isn't going to be there? So yeah. like all the best of the best are going to be there. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, you can take that as intimidating or you can take that as an opportunity to learn and and uh, and see the best, see how the best do it. Yeah. Um, I know. I remember that experience when we went to play in Patty Fest, um, because yeah, when you start in the morning, there's there was really experienced players, and then there was people that had just played with their family, and there were some people that as you were whooping them, they just, I mean, they were having the time of their lives. They absolutely loved it. They, the number of people I partnered with Roy Campbell, the number of people looked at him and go, "Dude, did you do that on purpose? <laughs> like, did you mean to do that?" Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, Sounds like right. Uh, yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Lost my train of thought, but I don't know. I mean, if 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 you're a good person, you'll be there. I guess that's what it really boils down to. For sure. Right. It's a moral question above <laughs> anything else. <laughs> uh, yeah. As uh, I drop my disc. Mm -hmm. This will make for a good video. Yeah. Uh, anything I'm forgetting? Ah. Uh, just like other than the worlds, this is the the only tournament that has like kind of singles and doubles yep. in the same in day. The same day. So it, yep. it's fun to kind of be able to do both of those. And yes, it's it's, it's a lot of crokinole. It's not too much crokinole. 
like the way I, I think of it is um, there's, there's enough crokinole that year you kind of get, you, you get a, a lot, of, lot in, but mm. there's not too much that like, if, unless you win the championship, like if you're knocked out earlier, there's still that little tinge of disappointment. Like you just want to play a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. So I, it, to me, it's the kind of the perfect balance. Yeah. And I uh, you know uh, we're, we're trying to include some other things like uh, I think uh, Ray Berling from Crocodile Depot is going to be bringing a six player board right. for people to kind of play yep. on in between uh, in between sessions or whatever and, and we'll have a couple five hole boards five, five hole boards yeah yep. and then uh, yeah I think uh, the, also the, uh, the Crookmill Depot to go like uh, travel oh right yeah, they'll so. have some yeah they have those there the yeah. little mini yep. skinny things yeah and both Ooh. yourself and Tracy boards and um, and Crokinole Depot will have some stuff for sale on yep. Friday night and, and uh, Saturday if yeah, necessary for so. sure yeah, get yeah. your swag. Get your swag. Get your swag on. All right, this is our last normal four-round match. Sure. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, you're probably the guy who has had more doubles partners than anybody else. You're like a you're like a doubles floozy of sorts, right? So I've I been mean, called worse. don't don't feel any pressure because of the present current audience, but. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite partner? Um, well, to recap, I mean, I've I've had uh, Jeremy uh, once at the Crokinole or at the uh, U.S. Open. Yep. I I played with Connor once, and I played with John Conrad and a number of times. Yep. Um, and I don't think it's offense to anybody else, but as you can imagine, John Conrad, especially doubles, like that's, yep. that's an absolute honor to be able to partner with him. Yep. Um, and we won a, a couple, um, a couple of Paddy Fest tournaments together. And then, uh, we won, uh, 2019, uh, Ontario doubles. Right. And that was his first time winning and he had okay. partnered with three or four different people through Bit the years. Bit of a years. floozy himself yeah. is what you're saying, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, so, I hope um, you watch this, John. <laughs> I hope you watch this right till this part. <laughs> Miss you, buddy. Um, so yeah, like to, to be able to kind of help him, uh, help him yeah. get that tournament was, was a real honor for me. For um, sure. Yeah. So uh, when I talk about the St. Jacobs club and the style of the way that club runs, it's one of the things like, man, when you're learning and you get to partner, because of the rotation, you get to partner with everybody. But you partner with John Conrad and have him go, one, it would be him make a suggestion of what you should do, or it would be what I always loved he would do, where do you want me to leave it? And you'd go, leave it right there. And he'd go, okay. <laughs> he'd leave his button right there. I'm like, oh, now you're just being, I don't know what. But uh, no, that's, I'm not offended by that at all. Oh, one other, I did, uh, I partnered with Ray Bearling once too, at uh, the, uh, the 2020 Patty Fest. Who did, you, how did that go? Um, you, we lost, I forget who we lost to. They, I think I remember, I think I was there. <laughs> I think I was sitting pretty close to you. Like oh, either yeah. just to your left or just to your right. Uh-huh. That was a little frustrating for me. Well, the whole thing was, yeah. Roy and I won that, but, uh, that was, that was the last tournament before things locked down. Yeah. I really felt like, I mean... I was dialed that day, yeah. I've been playing well, I'm like, I'm catching my groove, I'm coming on, and I'm going to be a force to be reckoned with, yeah. and then they went, no, nobody's yeah. playing Crokinole. Yeah, the, uh, the world wasn't ready for, for that yet. <laughs> now i got to try to refine that. Oh, three misses, damn. Oh. So... My hammer, but it is a green board. It's greener than St. Patty's today. <laughs> Speaking of the uh, Patty Fest. Nice. Respect. So I need to get both of yours off and get in the 15 for a tie. So I'm going to use some damage off there. I'm actually going to get a 22. Or right. 22. Right. Or I could have just got a 20 for the time. Oh well. Two zips. zips. Two zip, yeah. Man, I had like three chances around there and just missed. 
Bounce back, bounce back. Yeah, bounce back, all right. Nice shot. Thank you. The old Conrad. The new Conrad. That sound. Oh. Trying to evoke some sympathy from the other side of the board, but ah, nothing. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Catchy little phrase, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I need it. The 20 back then, so we're 2 2. Back to so you. That's the damn trouble. My, my crokinole is getting in the way of my uh, disc golf. I play in a league every weekend, and I miss, um, I miss one weekend from being in Boston, and then this weekend. I was in mild May, and yeah. then went from there up to Wasaga, so I've missed two weekends in a row at league, so... Burp. One at that one. See what he has in store. Sometimes I'm a little silly, so I go to the well a couple times. What a shot! Great shot! Thanks. Nice. Yeah, you're getting me off, so. Much of a yeah, <clears throat> dug way too deep a hole. Four two, four two. I think when we uh, flip over and do our race nine, we should trade sides of the board. I don't know about that. I'm, I'm liking this side. Well, okay. No, we can do whatever. Oh, I just thought for both of us trade. Sure. Just leave buttons. And yeah, for sure. Thought I'd say it now rather than later. Okay. Um, yeah, 4-2 and your blast. My blast? Yes, sir. All right. Ooh. Nice. That's what I find is, is risky in that you have to get the off or the 20. Yes. If, if you, you miss both, you yeah. are in so deep. Yeah. Lesson is you just keep digging, you just keep pushing mine in there to jam it up. No? Okay. Ah. That was an error. Ah, I needed that. 
Yeesh. I'm glad that's on camera because I don't even know what happened. Nice. I gotta clap so I can look back at the audio. Uh, I'll be able to find that and look at it without having to. Whew. I would show you how to do one of those, but it'd be really dumb of me to do a self assist right now. Yeah, it'd be dumb of me to do a self assist. I like how your piece went off the board, too. That is my favorite part of that shot. Was it now? I don't recall asking. <laughs> oh! You gotta hit that. So I, so I gave you a 20, and. Still, what did we end up with? I had four, four twenties. I needed to hit. That I had four shot. plus one, and you yeah. had three minus one. All right. Very All right. good. Yeah, good game. Well, that concludes four, the four, uh, that, that concludes the crocodile uh, conversation. We will switch sides, get some practice shots, and do a race to nine. But All I'm right. going to stop this recording and restart it. Thanks for the combo. Thanks for the chat. Thanks for the visit. All that. Yeah. And, register. Uh, register. Yeah. You should like do something intimidating. Come on. All right, you got him.